Welcome back everyone, it's Kirak here. Welcome back to another episode on the Project Singularity Minecraft server. And as you can see, I am joined by Walden today. Hi Walden. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Good. Uh, I'm gonna get rid so of this. we're in 1.10 now. Yes, we are. Yes. So we just updated the server. Well, not, well, not just updated, but we updated it. Yep. You want a tour? Uh, please, please give me a tour. Show me. Again, in the famous words of Jean-Claude Van Damme, teach me. Okay. <laughs> First. What's new? Addition is auto jump. So just don't press space and walk up that cliff. Okay. Oh, dude. I am not pressing space at all. It's yeah. it's automatically making me jump up the blocks. Is that good or bad? Uh, they they added it because it's in Pocket Edition. That's right. I remember trying out Pocket a while back, and it and you just walk up to it and it, pu it puts you up. That's I kind of like it, but isn't that couldn't that be dangerous at some point or something? Yeah, it could. Okay. Is there a way to disable that? Yes. Okay. Show me. Controls. Controls. So escape. It's at the top. Option. Controls. Auto jump Auto on. Jump. Off. Okay. I'm I'm gonna leave it off. <laughs> yeah, I, I turned it off. Too. Okay, I'm gonna leave it off. So if I go up, yeah, there we go. It's it's kind of neat. I do think that's neat, but there should be a way to enable it, disable it when you want without having to go so deep into the menu. You should be able to press a key on a keyboard and then yeah. get it. Yeah. Anyways, that's cool. Okay. What else? What else? So next is a new sound for right. Ender Chests. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Open it. Oh, me. Okay, I was waiting for you to open it. Oh, no. Do you hear that? Yeah. Yeah, I got a phone call in the background. Oh, wow. I can't, I can't answer the phone, and I'm stuck in a room where it's the base for the house. That's an interesting sound. It's all Ender Mini now. Hang on one more time. Wow, okay. It's like echoey. Yeah. And has that Enderman teleport sound. Yeah. Huh. I still have my three skulls in there. <laughs> I might I might enlist your assistance uh to take on a Wither Boss. Okay. In the future. In the near future. So I set up everything over here. Well, what's what did you set up? Um, all the crafting recipes. Oh, cool. Okay. Woo! Oh, that hurt. Oh, okay. Wait a second. I I don't get it. So these item frames are meant to represent something? So, first one is this. Just do a two by two. Oh, frame. okay. And I could do that right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So these are for the new blocks, the magma block. Is the magma block. Hey, yeah. And I like how uh, it looks like fire moving in behind the stones yeah. in the block. That's pretty cool. So uh, it spawns naturally in the nether sometimes. Okay. And step on it. Step on it? Oh, damage but no damage? Oh, no, no. It's actually taking hearts away. But it's very, very... Like, you can spend a long time on it. Yeah, so uh, people have used it at the bottom of mob traps now. Okay. Um, but that's also, that'll take forever to kill a mob unless it's like um uh you you drop them from a height bring them down to one heart. Mm -hmm. So it has this interesting thing with it. So there's a torch next to it, right? Yeah, I see it. So if I remove the torch, it'll keep the light from the torch. Um, can you put the torch back? But is it dark? It's nighttime now. It should be this lightness. Okay. Right, this is normal lightness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I place a block, place a torch, yeah. break the block. Oh, it keeps it keeps that brightness. Break the torch. Yeah, it keeps the brightness. So you can almost use it as a lighting block. Yeah. 
Does it give off any light on its own without any I torch don't being? Think so. No, eh? We should really be in a place that's like pitch black, a room that's dark. Yeah. And try. Whatever. That's a <laughs> yeah, whatever. All right. Well, that's a cool little thing. That's cool. All right. Okay, so next. Yeah. that oh my gosh you got all the stuff ready to go this is awesome can you be my tutor forever <laughs> like this is uh okay so it's two nether brick on each corner and two um nether wart okay so this is cool because you don't need necessarily a crafting bench red nether brick mm -hmm. there it is Oh, I like it. I like the color a lot. Okay, compared to it. Yeah. Oh, you can make some evil looking building with that. I like it. And the bo both of them go well together. You could you like use it to accent uh entryways for doors and windows and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Looks great. And that, that's it. That's There's it. No stairs or slabs for it. Okay. All right. Oh, you could probably it's imagine. Just a block. That's it. Uh, got it. You you could probably imagine them coming out with something. Oh yeah. So uh, this is eventually. one of the things I can't show you. Okay. And there's a new structure underground sometimes. Uh huh. And it's called a fossil. And it's okay. like a dead whale underneath. Oh, that's cool. So hold, wait, wait, hold hold on, hold on. When you say it's a fossil, are you talking about a new block called a fossil, or do you find no, it's called a bone block? A bone block. And the structure is called a fossil. Okay. So, so if I'm digging away, I might find what looks like an old dinosaur underwater. Yeah, yeah. I'm underwater, underground. Under, underground, yeah. Yeah. And okay. Hole everywhere with it too. So I need to use this guy here, right? Mm -hmm. So wait, uh, this is regular bone meal you just handed me. Yeah. Craft the bone blocks. Oh, that's cool. This is the first time I'm making one. Oh wow! I actually like it. I think I've seen it in someone else's video. It was Sloppy's video. Yeah. Uh, I like it because it's an alternative white block. Yeah, you don't have to use quartz. Yeah, and we have a nice uh, skeleton farm that are, it's all the way over there in Skull Cove. And you can craft it back to nine bone meal. Oh, that's great. So that's a good way, well, not necessarily a good way to store it, but that's that's cool. Because you could do like a stack of, yeah, that's actually not a bad way. Oh, I and saw your... What is this? Okay, what is this? I saw your uh, dragon um, dragon cove. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Nether wart, nine of them. Okay, so I do that. And I have a nether wart block. That's pretty cool. But you can't craft it back into nether wart now. So that's permanent. Okay. Yeah, that's permanent. Yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta check something. It looks to me, the texture on it for some reason, looks like it would have some sort of... Uh, almost like you can eat it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it is actually a leaf type block. Okay. So it's transparent, light can go through it, I think. Oh, that's cool. It wouldn't surprise me if they include that in some sort of, um, not necessarily Structure potion. Another. Well, oh, yeah. no, I mean like an ingredient of some sort. Well, maybe, yeah. I don't know. Or if they reverse it so that you can store uh, nether wart that way. That's pretty cool. So those are the new new blocks then? Yep. Four new blocks. Four new blocks. So one is... Um, magma. Magma block. Hey. Okay, I got a question for you in a second. One is a nether brick, right? No, nether wart block. The other one is a bone block. And the other one is a... What is this? Red... Uh, nether wart? Nether wart block. Nether wart block. Nether... What's this one again? Red nether brick. Red nether brick. Oh my god. They're getting to the point where they're running out of names to name blocks, so they're using <laughs> everything to name it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the question I had is, uh, didn't Minecraft have this thing where if you hover over something, it tells you in text what it is? Uh, if you... If it's in your inventory... Only if it's in my inventory? I thought it was only, like, That's yeah, okay, verse. okay, all right. I'm thinking, yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was thinking creative verse. This is cool. This is cool. I'm glad they keep introducing new stuff. I like it. Let me 
Hey, you know what? I'm going to dump all this on the ground. You can have it. There you go. <laughs> well, thank you, Walden. Is that everything or is there anything no, no, more? there's more. Oh, there's more. Okay, good stuff. You're frozen in time. <laughs> I'm, I'm checking. It. All right, no, no problem. <laughs> okay, so there's two more things I can't show you. Okay. <laughs> but... But please show me. In snow biomes, uh -huh. there's an 80% chance for a skeleton to spawn as a stray. And uh, it's just an ice skeleton. Oh, oh, really? So it's a, a completely different mob. Yeah, it's, and, a, it's a skeleton subtype. Okay, and it's called a stray? A stray. Like, like A space stray. Okay, you typed it. Not a stray as in one word. Yeah. Okay, and so when you see them, I guess you would know because it would look like a skeleton, but it would be yeah, like oh, it has like raggedy claws on it. Oh, that's cool! Wow, I'd love to and see those. They shoot slowness arrows. Oh, neat. Okay, and then another one is in deserts: an eighty percent chance for a zombie to spawn as a husk. Oh, uh, where did I see that? I saw that in a video somewhere, but only in deserts, right? Yeah, only deserts. As a husk, okay. So yeah. a husk is kind of like uh, a, a, another sub variant of zombies. Zombie, yeah. Okay. A desert zombie. Mm. Um, and if it hits you, it gives you hunger. Oh wow! Like uh, you you go down and help. In the uh, hun hunger. haunches, yeah, 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 yeah. Just like rotten flesh. Okay, cool. Well, that that kind of makes sense too. That that's great. I. Um, I'm glad you told me because I probably would have started playing and then encounter one of these and say, what the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, wow. Well, wow. And there's another one in the ice biome, which is a friendly mob, unless you go near its babies. And it, uh, it's a polar bear. It's a polar bear. Oh, polar bear. Are you serious? Yeah. That's cool. And you can tame them and breed them and they drop fish. Oh, okay. I have a question. If you were to get a polar bear and tame one, could you include it over here in our farms? Yeah, yeah. And then keep breeding them? I I, mm -hmm. I would imagine, though, that they couldn't survive or something because they're polar bears. They should be in a cold environment or... No, it's fine. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Oh, now I want to see a polar bear. Have you seen one yet? No. Okay. <laughs> um... Magma cubes in the nether now spawn twice as often. Twice as often. Okay. Uh, That's kind of good, actually. In the nether. Okay. And they can pick up nether rack now. Hmm. Okay. Wow, you keep right on top of it, man. Wow, that's good. <laughs> All right. If you craft a firework rocket, you get three now instead of one. Okay, so this is like a change log you're giving me. <laughs> are you are you like literally reading through? So uh, next is we'd have to go to a mesa, but you know in Pocket Edition there's those mine shafts in mesa biomes now. No, I did not know that. Oh well, they spawn in the surface now, in all those mesa cliffs with the clay. Okay. And there's a bunch of gold around them. Oh, cool. Like they spawn uh, gold ore. This is this is good because it gives it gives more reason to go exploring and checking out different areas. And mm -hmm. This game is so big compared to when we first started playing. Hmm, excellent. Um, I'm gonna move away from the water because it's a little noisy. I came there because I saw stuff in the background breaking off, and I didn't realize it was his cactus farm. Okay, so the next change is this. Okay, all right. Do I have to pick these up? No, no, no. Pick okay. the fishing rod up. Okay. Okay, I got the fishing rod. You can now pull items with it. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> we didn't even get it. Oh, yes! That is so cool! Dude, that is awesome. I like that. Makes me feel like Spider-Man. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, there's got to be something you can make out of this then. That's awesome. 
Here, here's your fishing rod and your bone meal. That's cool. I had no idea. I know you could do it with mobs. Yeah, yeah. Um, so next, press F3 and then G. F3? Like at once. Oh, together? Yeah. Okay, hold on. F3 and then and G. It's a new debug mode. Oh, cool. So it and shows me... Boundaries. Yeah, it shows me each chunk and the boundaries. That, I like that. That's That's really good. That's really cool. You know what? I'm going to dare to say it. I know that there's a lot of these features that uh, are new to the game. Not not necessarily all of them, but a lot of them that come out in the game that are kind of like variants or borrowed from modded Minecraft, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, I find that when they added to or add some of those features from modded Minecraft to regular Minecraft, they do it in a much nicer way, an easier, friendlier way. That's yeah. why I don't. I'm not a fan of modern Minecraft because you have to. F it's like you don't know what's what it is. You got to totally stumble through it to figure it out. When here you just, you know, it's a new combination. You do these two buttons together, and boom, there, and that's it. It's it works so much nicer. I love it. Now everyone's gonna hate my guts. <laughs> uh, did you you just bone meal the ground here? Yeah. Uh... So, you know, in like uh, deserts, sand would spawn floating in the air? Yes. And sandstone would replace the bottom? Okay. So it wouldn't fall? Yeah. Like in caves and stuff? That's now removed. Okay, so if I go into a new desert area, I won't see all of a sudden these floating sand. You will. I will? Yeah, but you have to update them for them to fall. But, okay, so technically... Well, I thought it was like that. You could just touch one and they all fall. Sand yeah, or gravel. Sandstone would be at... at underneath it, yeah. Yeah. Now it doesn't uh, show now that. now there's like a new particle underneath the block. Under which block? That shows that it's floating. Oh. Like gravel and sand that float. Okay. Have a new particle underneath it. But that's only occurring if it's naturally spawning that way, right? Yeah. Okay. You can't place it floating in... Yeah. You can't place them. Okay. Well, no, there are some times when you can actually place a, a gravel block or a sand block on a torch. You pull away the torch, but it still stays floating occasionally. Yeah, I guess. Also, uh, huge mushrooms can spawn twice as tall sometimes. Really? <laughs> uh, is that by bone mealing them? Or natural. Or natural. Okay, that's cool. I would love to see a massive one. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Damn. They don't and stop, eh? One last thing. Okay, what is it? What is it? What's the last thing? Tell me, tell me. Over here. Oh, you got the double jump on your uh, thing. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Did you do that? I did that. What are you making? Do you have any levels? Uh, ten levels. You want me to enchant it? And it makes a sound now. Oh, you can't go off. Okay. Okay, so it's going to get efficiency one. Yep. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like that. Whoa, what did I just do? Shit. <laughs> what? I, 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 I'm sorry. I enchanted the wrong one. <laughs> oh. I had an iron pickaxe. Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, hang on. Does it remove any previous enchantment enchantments? No. No, it shouldn't. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, I enchanted an, an iron pickaxe. Do you want it? No. <laughs> no? Well, here's your wooden one back. Well, that's cool. I like that sound. That's pretty cool. It was okay, like... That's it. Oh, that's it. Okay, so it was it's like... Uh, every single change. Some kind of transformation change or sound. That's great. 
Mm-hmm. Wow. So they went from 1.9 to 1.10 relatively quick, and they added in, I'd say, a good number of changes. Any word on when, when the next one's supposed to be uh, out? Uh, next update? At Minecon. Okay. So like September-ish? Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks for giving me this little tour of 1.10. We're going to end up making this a regular series if it keeps up, which which it will, actually. So Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so every time there's an update, uh, I'm going to call on you or you call on me and we'll do this, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. I'm going to say bye to my viewers. Thank you all for joining. <laughs> Another uh, guided tour through the updates in uh, Minecraft 1.10 with uh, Walden MC. Thank you, Walden. No problem. And goodbye, everybody. Bye for now. Bye.